Okay, in this video we're going to look at um, adding your new master chartered accounts to a client's chartered accounts. Okay, so you've got to use Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets. I'm going to use Google Sheets. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll export the chart. Export comes out in CSV format. Drag it up. Rename that. And open it in Google Sheets. Okay, so what we want to do here is color code all those accounts. So I'm going to color code those. Go yellow. Now the next thing I'm going to do is open up my master. This one here is my new master chart and copy all those. So control C, copy the whole lot. Control C, control C. Control V. Go to the top of the page. I'm going to put in a filter. Filter. Cool. And then I'll filter by code. So code first. All right. So the job here is to leave the yellow ones as they are. Just to make your life simple, leave the yellow ones as they are. For example, you can see we've got. For example, you can see we've got. Um, a duplicate here 200 because you can't have duplicate account codes or account names okay so you can't have duplicates in, in zero it won't work you could change that to 2001 and import it okay so there's a change we made just highlight it red 2001 all right so you can do it you don't have to delete them I mean you can have um, you know we can change that to 261 and we can change that to other revenue one if you wanted to keep it, that is. So you can actually keep them or delete them. It's up to you. Okay, so as I go down the page, you probably, you have to sort of go looking next to the colors. 270, okay, no, all good. Here we go, purchases. Okay, we've got purchases one here. So I might just change that to 330 and delete that one. Okay. Uh, 400 advertising, okay, accounting fees, 400. We've got a bit of a problem here. So, advertising promotion. So, I might change that to 402. Copy that one up. See what I'm doing? And delete that. Reason being is I'm trying to maintain, keep the yellow. That's my goal here, make my life easier, is just keep the yellow ones. Okay, um, you know, something here, we've got a bit of a problem here, 404, 404. And you can see we've got bank fees down here, so we can change it to 407. And delete that. You see what I'm doing? So, point is, is that you can't have duplicate, you can't have the same account code or the account name. Okay, so I'm going to keep going down the list, like cleaning, I think we're cleaning and laundry there. So I might just go 411. Now, you can't change both of these. That's a big thing, is you can't change both of them. Zero won't recognize it on the import. Okay, so don't change both. All right, big part. So I'll delete that. So you can see the process. I'm going down the page here. I'm going down the page, consulting and accounting. Look, I don't really need that. I've actually got accounting fees here. I might actually just get rid of that. And I know the account's never been used. I know that it's never been used. So I can confidently delete a yellow because I know it's never ever had a transaction in it. So who cares? It's gone. There's a duplicate. Gone. Okay, another duplicate. Gone. You get the point. There we go. Duplicates. Gone. Okay, so I'm just going to keep going down, keep going down until I finish this off. So, okay, 
Okay, so I've basically gone down the page and removed all the duplicate account codes that I could find. Okay, the next thing is that to actually sort it by name and do the same thing. Okay, don't need that account. Don't need that. You get the picture, you can always go down and check a few things out here. So I'll keep the yellow one. Keep the yellow one. All good. Yep. Okay, so you can see, just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Um, until you figure that out. And we're good. Okay, so we're good to go. So basically, we sort that. We are now good to import this into the zero. So download CSV. Back to the zero. Here's our client. So we're back in the client now. We're ready to import the new master chart. And here we go. Now just remember, we've got, if we look here, we've got 59 accounts, 59. And now let's look at importing. Import. Important, leave it at zero, leave it at zero, and leave it at no. Leave it at no. Browse. Import. Okay, so here's the thing is, keep in mind that sometimes the messaging's a little bit misleading, okay? If there's any errors, okay, so we did have duplicates that we just didn't find. So Zero's pulled up and said, hey, hold on, you know, there's some duplicates here. Um, and you can go back and fix it. But when you're ready to go, just hit Import. Confirm. And sometimes you get this type of messaging, but don't worry about it. Just go here and then go down to your chart and accounts. So, yeah. All right, cool. So now we've got, as you can see, all those new accounts are now added. We've got everything we wanted. Okay, we didn't need to add them one by one. Okay, all good. Go all the way down the page. Everything's there. All the contra accounts, all the intangibles, the whole lot. So I'll go right down the very bottom. And you'll see that we've got 224 accounts. So we went from about 50 to well over 200 in the space of about, I don't know, let's say 20 minutes. That, that might take you about 20 minutes, depending on how close you want to go to everything. So actually, is there more? I think there might be more. Uh, next year, 224. I oh, know there's 224 in total. Yeah, so good way to, good way to get them all in. Um, go up the top, you go to accounting, and then you report code screen report code screen here um you'll see that this is one for review you'll see that they've all come in with their mapping as well so everything's mapped everything's there it's just basically you know you can start running the reports uh you might change a few names like i said you might change a few names uh back here and actually you could have done that before the import so if we go back to the chart if you go down to the beneficiary section um, well, this is a trust instead of a company. It's a trust. So down in the beneficiary section, you could have actually changed all these. Like if I go Control F, uh, find and replace, find beneficiary one, um, Jack Johnson. That's going to update all them, all sheets, replace all. Okay, beneficiary two, Mary Johnson, replace all. And the list goes on. Three, Sam, Sam Johnson, place all. Beneficiary four, Jenny Johnson, place all. You, you get the picture. Now all these are changed. Okay, so we've changed the names here instead. Up to you. You can do it inside zero, you can do it inside Excel. Okay. Main thing is you got them all in without having to deal with adding them one by one. Okay, so it's a huge time save, huge. All right, cool. Um, actually, just to summarize, probably the main thing is, is to remember, um, for the yellow ones, let's go back to the top here. For the yellow ones, so these are the originals, you can't change both of these. Okay, that's a huge no-no. You can't change both. You can only change one at a time. Okay, so in the yellow ones, if I changed 
that and that, we have a problem. Okay, because zero is not going to recognize it when you re import it. And that's not good because that can lead to duplicate records. What that means is today is the I don't know, 10th of March. If we did this today, um, you might have transactions from the 1st of July to the 10th of March in one account, and then the 11th of March to the 30th of June in another account. So you end up with two lots of um, sales accounts in your profit and loss, which is a mess. That's a mess. That's the mess we're trying to avoid is duplicates and deleted and archived and merged and just crap everywhere. So stick to this basic system and it will give you a massive head start. Cool. Thank you.